in this section we will find velocity and accelerations for a given position function. If I give you a vector function r f t g of t h of t means I give you a curve in the space. Okay. Now if you think about the t is the time. So once you give a t then you can find f t g of t x t. That means you find x, y, and z. You have a point in the space. Okay. Then you can think about this is the position of the particle. For the different t, then you got a different position. Okay. So we, we can call for the motion in the space, you can think about this vector function r sub t is a position function. And if you take derivative of your position function, you got your velocity. And this is equivalent to say, if you know the velocity, then you can find your position function by integrating it on both, both sides, plus c. Okay. But remember here, this c here is a vector. And if you take a derivative of a velocity function, you got acceleration. If you know the velocity, then you can integrate it to find your uh, to find your pos no, if you know acceleration, you integrate it, you can find your velocity. Let me put this way. If you integrate both sides of this equation, you're going to find your velocity is equal to the integral of acceleration plus c. I mean, this c is different than the, the pre previous c. Okay. This is a, const is a vector constant. Okay. Because this is a vector. Okay. Vector only add vector. You cannot, like a vector, add a scalar. Okay, now let's look at the example. So in this section, basically, I, what what I want you to learn is, for giving, for example, position function, you can find velocity, acceleration, and speed. Okay, speed, speed is the magnitude of a velocity. Okay, okay speed tell you how fast the particle goes, and the velocity give you more information. Okay, to tell you how fast it goes and which direction it goes. Okay, and on the other hand, I want you can do. I want you to be able to do is for given acceleration. How can you find the velocity and the position function? Now let's see if I giving you position function which is 3 cosine t i plus 2 sine t j. I want you to find velocity, speed, and acceleration acceleration at t equal to t equal to pi over 3 okay, okay now I give you a position function r of t I want you to find the velocity speed and acceleration so r of t if you write in the, as it, you can write it this way: three cosine t, two sine t. I prefer write this way. Again, it's simpler. 
Okay, first of all, let's find the velocity. Velocity is derivative of your velocity function. Derivative of vector function means you take derivative of each component. So take derivative of first component give you, give you three negative three sine t. Okay. Then take derivative of second component give you two cosine t. Now let's find acceleration first at the t. Okay. Acceleration is a derivative of your velocity which also means second derivative of your position function. Okay, so take derivative of this function, which is velocity. Again, you take derivative of each component, give you negative 3 cosine t and a negative 2 sine t. Okay, now we find the velocity and the acceleration at any moment t. Now, what we want to find is velocity at t equal to pi over 3. So you just need substitute t there by pi over 3. 2 cosine pi over 3. Sine pi over 3 give you square root of 3 over 2. And the cosine pi over 3 give you 1 half. So times 1, times 2 give you 1. OK, what is speed? Speed is a magnitude of your velocity. So speed at t equal to pi over 3 is the magnitude of that. So the square root the first component negative three square root of three over two whole sin square plus one. So give you nine three square give you nine. Square root of three square give you three. So you got twenty seven over two over 4 plus 1 so this is 4 over 4 so give you 31 over 4 that's the speed okay. remember speed is scalar velocity is a vector okay your acceleration at moment t equal to pi over 3 give you give you minus 3 give you minus 3 times Where's my acceleration? Okay, cosine replace t by pi over three. Then minus two sine pi over three. So you got a minus three times one half, and minus two times square root of three over two. That's to give you acceleration, which is a vector. Okay, now let's look at another example. In this example, we give you acceleration, which is 2ti plus sine tj plus cosine 2t K. And we also know, I mean, this this means 2t sine t cosine 2t. 
and we we'll also know initial velocity. I mean, initial means t equal to zero. The velocity is i. What that means? That means one zero zero. If we write as triple, and we know the initial position, okay, which is j, is zero one zero. Now, what do we want to find? We want to find velocity. V of t and the position function r of t. That's what we want to find. Okay, we know velocity and acceleration related like this way. Integrate a of t dt plus c. C is the vector. Okay, here is my a. Okay. You integrate a vector means you integrate each component of it. So first component two t dt, second component integrate that you got a sine t dt, integrate the third one you got a cosine two t dt, then plus c. C there is a vector, say c one c two c three. Okay, you integrate the first one, give you t squared. Since we already have c here, so we don't have we don't put c here. Okay, integrate sine t, give you minus cosine t. Integrate the last one, give you one half sine two t. Assuming you know how to integrate this, plus c one c. I mean not plus. Okay, this is a vector. First component is C1, second component is C2, third component C3. Okay, we can find C1, C2, and C3 by knowing initial velocity. So we substitute t, replace 2 by 0. We know that V0 give you i, which is 1, 0, 0. On the other hand, look at v of t equal to this. So replace your on the right hand side, replace your t by zero. You got a zero, cosine zero is one. So you got a minus one and a zero again. Then plus c one, c two, and c three. So solve for c one, c two, and c three. Which is equal to one zero zero subtract zero minus one zero. <coughs> Therefore they give you one minus zero give you one. Zero minus negative one give you one. And zero minus zero you got to zero. Okay, the difference of two vectors that means find Vector subtract the vector means you subtract each component. Okay. Therefore, my v of t here is equal to t, t squared minus cosine t one half sine two t plus c one c two c three, which is one one and zero. You add those two components vector together give you t squared plus 1 then 1 minus cosine t let's add second component third component 1 half sine 2t plus 0 that's it so we find our velocity so our velocity is equal to this okay find the velocity we can find position function Position function is integral of your velocity, then plus c, which is a vector. So my velocity is like this. So integrate of vector function means you integrate each component of it. Then integrate the second component. 
and I integrate a third component. Then plus C, which is a C1, C2, and a C3. Okay, now let's integrate it. So T squared, you integrate it, give me one third T to the third plus T integrate one, give you T. Integrate the second component, give you T minus cosine T integrated, give you sine T. The last one you integrated, give you minus one fourth cosine two T. Then plus C1, C2, and C3. That's our RT. Okay, we can find C1, C2, C3 by knowing initial position. Initial position, which is replace T by 0, R0, equal to J, which is 0, 1, 0. We know this. But on the, on the right hand side, replace all the t by 0. So the first component, 1 third times 0 plus 0 give you 0. The second, replace t by 0. And sine 0 is 0, so your second component is 0. The third one, replace t by 0. Cosine 0 is 1, so give you minus 1 fourth plus c1, c2, c3. So you can solve your C1, C2, C3 by add this, this vector on both sides of the equation. So you got 1, 0, and subtract, 0. Subtract, 0, 0, minus 1 over 4. So they give you 1. 1 minus 0 give you 1. 0 minus 0 give you 0. 0 minus negative 1 fourth give you positive 1 fourth. OK, therefore, our R of t here is equal to 1 third t to the third plus t, t minus sine t minus 1 fourth cosine 2t plus C1 is 1, C2 is 0, C3 is 1 fourth. Add those two vectors together, which means you add each component. So you've got a 1 third t squared plus t, t to the third plus t, plus 1. OK, second component, t minus sine t plus 0. Then you got. 1 fourth subtract 1 over 4 cosine 2t. The third one is like add third component together. Okay. So we find rt and we find rt and v sub t.